My mother's family owned the first talkie cinema in Varanasi in India. As a child, a trip to the cinema was a big incentive. With my cousins, I would venture into the darkness of the auditorium in the middle of a screening and would be hushed into a corner by the usher. Some afternoons, I sat in the manager's office and saw him receiving film cans for a new release or used ticket booklets for account keeping. I used to collect those booklets, film posters and almost anything that was part of the theater and could be spared. In the 90s, home video became very popular in India and cinema halls struggled for business. Many theaters including my family's closed down. This project is situated in the old cinema halls in India, built between 1930 and 1960. India has a long association with cinema. The first Indian feature film was made in 1899, and today the country is one of the largest film producers, making more than a thousand films a year for an audience of over three billion worldwide. When I started photographing the old cinema halls, in some ways I was trying to articulate my childhood memories of the visits to the family's theater. As I explored, I got really interested in the idiosyncrasies of these spaces. These halls were mostly designed by the owners themselves and each theater was different from the other, unlike the generic look of multiplexes. Like the unique circular window of this projector room in Regal, Kolkata. It resonates with the shape of the film reels and speaks of the owner's aesthetics. The work culture till 20 years back was very different from what we have now. A majority of people back then would retire from the same theater where they started. Over many years of being constantly occupied by the same people, these halls seem to contain cues to the psyche of these individuals who built it or who work in it. As if the space and the way it's arranged is an extension of the occupier's interior. A chair with bubbles emerging out of its upholstery, breaking the sequence in resistance. A ladder in place of the screen could be an invitation to climb out of the mundane. 